sits here. Uh, but as I just gave you guys the blind boxes, uh, our Pinmate line debuted at Toy Fair 2016 with the uh, armored Batman, uh, Batman v Superman figure. He was number one in our line. Um, we originally launched the line under a Peg Pal brand. Right. So that's the only figure that has that branding on it. So if collectors were here last year, they should keep it because it's got the wrong packaging and it's, it's going to... It's not door that plays with it. So it's oh, really? <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so since then, uh, at Comic-Con uh, San Diego in 2016, we launched some, some sets of figures. Um, for the holidays, we introduced a playset, a TOS Star Trek, the original series, 50th anniversary uh, playset, which uh, went really, really well with collectors and fans of the show. Uh, we did a lot of detailed heat printing decals on the control boards, on the screen. There is a piece that pops off that shows the front of the bridge and that you can put back on so you have a completely enclosed bridge um, or you can kind of open it up and have eye level play. The, from the collector standpoint, each one of our licenses, Star Trek, DC, Marvel, we've also got uh, Twilight Zone, Dexter, Kiss, um, they feature individually numbered uh, a, a series, so you see it on the packaging as well as you'll see it on the individual figures at the bottom of the figure. So that's really great. Um, for Toy Fair 2017, what we have launched is brand new wooden vehicles. So we have a Dark Knight inspired tumbler that comes with a Dark Knight uh, wooden figure and wooden working wheels. And we also have a classic Batmobile that comes with a classic Batman and Robin. And each of the vehicles have like a pin meat seat that you can pop them in and ride them along. Um, additionally, we have a Wonder Woman movie, Themyscira themed wooden diorama set. So it comes with the island themed diorama. It's going to come with the white stallion wooden figure and the uh, Wonder Woman figure and a Steve Trevor figure. We are also kind of highlighting the ladies of DC by introducing a four-pack of the heroines of DC Comics um, that's going to have the Catwoman, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, and Wonder Woman. On the Marvel side of things, we're carrying over the wooden vehicles with a movie-inspired Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 wooden Milano ship. It's a six-seater ship. And it does have working wooden wheels on the bottom of the ship, so it can soar off. Um, it's gonna, the ship's gonna come with a variant masked Chris Pratt styled Star Lord and a Yondu figure. Um, we additionally have a, a have five set that's gonna come with him unmasked and Gamora, Drax, a growing Groot, and the rocket figure is scaled down a bit as well. Um, we've also launched uh, an evergreen kind of series of all of them in the full two inch scale. Uh, we're broadening the line with more classic Punisher, Daredevil, we're gonna have a classic Thor, Vision, Luke Cage. We're expanding our Spider-Man figures with a Peter Parker and a Mary Jane, a Spider-Queen, a Spider-Woman. Um, we're gonna have a five set of Spider-Man and that's gonna have a unique Agent Venom in that set that's not sold individually currently. Um, additionally, we're gonna come out with a Gwenpool figure as well. So um, we were fortunate enough to do some, some test markets at major retailers last year. Um, reception at, at the consumer level was was very well, very well received, and so we're going to go nationwide now with this figure. So anyone, anywhere can can get them at some at their their local retailers. Uh, we're really, really excited about that line. Um, this was kind of our one of our first major fortes into a wooden collectibles. Um, since then, uh, we've brought in our wooden product types with push puppets. So we have really fun wooden push puppets. Um, we've got Spider-Man here, 
and it can go in wherever way, depending on how you push the button on the bottom. It's all wood. All of our wooden collectibles are uh, hand painted with limited decal artwork. So you can kind of see this, the logo here is a decal, but even, even the stripes on his feet are, are hand painted. Uh, they're going to SRP at $8.99 a figure. Uh, we've got five new DC items. We've got the Deadpool, uh, Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, and Spider-Man for or Marvel. We got five. Four, no, five Marvel. I can talk, I swear. <laughs> and six DC. Um, so DC, we're going to have Batman, Batgirl, Harley Quinn and Joker, Wonder Woman, and Superman. Um, the last new kind of wooden product type is our Tiki Tiki Totems, which I dare anyone to say and not smile. You cannot say Tiki and not have a smile on your face. Um, these are awesome. They're solid wood, three, three and a half inch square tikis that have artwork on all sides. There is a recess on the bottom and a notch on the top. So you can collect whatever figures you are. They're going to be sold individually, but you can then stack and create uh, your tiki totem however you want. Oh, there goes Batgirl, but she landed on her feet. <laughs> um, in addition, you'll see throughout the year a possible expansion of our, our Jack in the Box line. That launched at, thank you, Robert. Uh, that launched at Comic-Con uh, last year is one of our top selling items. Um, so we're excited to see what's what's gonna come out uh, throughout the year for this, this line as well. Um, moving kind of up to uh, our wooden nesting dolls. We originally launched our wooden nesting dolls with a Justice League set of seven that had Superman all the way down to mini uh, man Martian Manhunter. That's sold out. Uh, we're not moving forward with another set at this time. We also had a Batman uh, family that had Batman, Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, and Alfred, Mini Alfred. Uh, that's also now sold out uh, with no plans of moving forward. So we do have some remaining units of the Joker villain set, uh, Batman Rogue. Um, but new for 2017, uh, we're going to come out with a heroine nesting doll set, which is super fun. Uh, at this time for the show, we didn't come out with anything new for Star Trek, but it is the Next Generation's 30th anniversary, so we do have plans throughout the year to, to give some TNG love. Uh, to this line that we're excited for. You'll see more news about that coming around uh, San Diego Comic-Con time. Uh, but new and brand new license that we launched just a few days ago was Twin Peaks. So that's gonna hit Showtime in May. Um, and we're really excited about, about this line. There's a lot of buzz. Fans of this show have been waiting for collectibles since it originally aired 25 years ago. So um, it's fun that it's coming back and we're able to kind of um, bring some merch along for, for the fans that they've been they've been looking for. We are launching the line with four new products. We have a Welcome to Twin Peaks tin tote. Um, this tin tote has kind of a the TP emblem here underneath the handle, and then it additionally has some key imagery from from the show 25 years ago. We also have a. Uh, Double R Cafe Tinto, uh, which also features kind of that TP emblem. And then we've got a cup of coffee on the side and a slice of cherry pie. Um, one of my favorites, because I'm a big card player, is our Black Lodge Mini Tinto. It's a uh, mini Tinto and it includes a deck of 52 card playing cards. Uh, so, and the cards are, are some really nice quality cards. Um, so that's kind of among my favorite items in the line. Um, but close second is our micro cassette recorder journal. Um, it's really great. It's like, think about like a, it's a three by five inch sized mini journal. Um, and the left page starts with a Diane uh, bubble. <laughs> And the uh, bookmark is a depiction of a micro cassette tape, which is just a fun decal, uh, a, a decorative element, a functional decorative element to the product. Um, last 
but not least that's new to Toy Fair is our unmasked individually blister carded three and three half inch action figures. They come with many, many unmasked masks. Um, that's kind of what they hold on the album yes. um, in the artwork. Uh, this was kind of derived from our unmasked deluxe box set that we launched at Comic Con in 2016, San Diego Comic Con in 2016. That set uh, was packaged with a recreation of the album artwork. The figures were boxed inside of it, and uh, it had that poster that came with the album uh, recreated as four large posters. So we we removed the figures um, and individually blister carded them and allowed them for a set for those those diehard action figure fans that just wanted wanted those to their collection. That's the quick rundown.